All right, praise God. Amen. Praise God. Yes, sir. I uh, once again sat down to write and asked the Lord to give me something, and He gave me something. So. Amen. Praise God. I figure I, I was just inspired, and I just wrote, just started bragging on God for Amen. Um, a while. So. Okay. That's great. Lift up the Lord. Jesus Christ. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Yes, He is. He is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, the first and the last. He was, and He is, and He is to come. Yes. He is holy, 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 Amen. is the Lord God Almighty. Amen. Amen. The greatest of all spirits, creator of all that is in existence, the giver of life. Amen. He is perfect. He is good. Strength is his. He is righteous. Amen. Defeater of sin. Yes. Amen. Savior of all those who call upon his name. Yes. I left a little bit out. Defeater of sin, death, and hell. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> death, hell, and the grave, absolutely. He is gentle and meek. Kind and trustworthy. Yes. Yeah. Teacher. He is a friend. Guide. Power. He is powerful. He is powerful. Amen. He is excellent. Yes. He is tangible by the Spirit. Yes. He is a counselor. He cannot be defeated. Right. That's right. He is sinless and does not change. That's right. Amen. He cannot be shaken or removed. That's right. No. But will shake heaven and earth. His wrath will melt the very elements yes. and yes. cleanse all of the universe of unrighteousness. That's right. And we'll make all things new. Praise God. Amen. I'm getting happy. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Only the word of God will remain unshaken and true. That's right. That's right. Amen. Hey. For the word of God Good. is God. That's right. <laughs> manifested to the world. That's right. The Word of God is the Father revealing Himself to us in His Son, Jesus Christ. That's right. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Jesus Christ is the Word of God. That's right. Yes, Amen. He is. The Word of God is life and the light of men. Amen. It will change your mind. Transform you. He is obedient to the Father. Author and finisher, finisher of our salvation. Amen. Author and finisher of our faith. Amen. Anchor of the soul. Amen. Amen. Liberty is his operating system. <laughs> yes. Amen. <laughs> Above. Higher than any other. Yes. Amen. Without his spirit, we would have no hope. No. We would have no power, and we would have no purpose. Jesus Christ is victorious. Yes. Amen. Amen. I see looming in the distance a time of tribulation. America a great Christian nation 
the greatest that has ever existed. The citizens as individuals sought the Lord and to keep his word. Amen. Oh, how we have changed. Yeah. God help us. Shame. Americans have killed millions of babies. Shame. Shame. Yes. Past 60 million now, I believe. Shame. Our tax dollars fund it. We embrace all manner of sin. Yes. Whichever way the flesh moves, we go. Having no anchor, because we have long since cut the rope and let the anchor go. The anchor being the Word of God, of course. Amen. The Word of God being Jesus Christ, of course. Jesus Christ being the Son of God sent by the Father to redeem man and secure unto himself a peculiar people, zealous yes. of good works. Amen. A people different than those without Christ. A people wanting to be fair and just and to build up his neighbor. There is a war going on between your flesh and your soul. Yeah. The flesh lusting only to please itself and to fulfill sin. Right. While the soul wants to be clean and free of sin and unrighteousness. <clears throat> God, who is separate from sin, will send his spirit to cover your soul and separate your soul from the sins of the flesh. You are no longer bound by sin if you've heard of Jesus Christ, his sinless life, his willingly being offered as a sacrifice to pay for the sins of the people, his suffering the cross, his resurrection from the dead by the power of the Father, and how he will send his spirit to dwell in you, sealing you, and setting you apart for himself. Amen. Your sin would be forgiven, and you would be given an inheritance in heaven. Amen. Yes. If you would believe and call upon his name. Right. Yes. Salvation is given to those who ask for it. You got to take it. It says, lay hold on Christ. Today is the day, the Bible says. Today is the day of salvation. Yes. Harden not your heart. Yes. Amen. 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 Act upon what you hear from God. Yes. Respond. Don't wait. Time keeps moving. He's calling. He's longing for you to be reconciled back to him. Right. He wants to be close to you. He is jealous when you are spending your time elsewhere. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh unto you. Amen. And I have a few verses here. Amen. First Peter five seven. Kind of random verses, I guess, but they stood out to me. So but Not actually random. It's the word of God. Amen. And it's and it's the spirit that leads, brings the word to our remembrance, yes. gives us the understanding, it is. and helps us share it. He is. The word. 
casting all your care upon him, yeah. for he careth for you. Amen. <sighs> Praise God. Casting all your care upon him, all of it. for he careth for you. He cares. He cares. He made this way for us to access him and to have all spiritual blessings in Christ. Amen. Frustrations, things not going right, or things going right. We can we can complain to God about good things too. <laughs> Amen. We find a way to complain no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, God, you're feeding us all these quail. God help us. Praises and thanksgiving requests. Whatever is bothering you, you can cast it upon the Lord. He can handle it. Yeah. He can. He's strong enough. He has the mind to process. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Amen. Uh, First Thessalonians, chapter 4. Verse 7. Yes, amen. God wants us like him, holy, thus setting us apart from everyone else. Yeah. For God has not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. Amen. He's calling us out of uncleanness into holiness. Amen. Without the Lord, we are unclean. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Called unto holiness. Okay. By the Spirit, we can deny sin and walk in holiness. We, right. we can be who we're supposed to be for Christ. Oh, worship the Lord. Walk in the beauty of holiness. Amen. 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 2 Timothy. Chapter 2. Verse 26. And that they may <clears throat> recover themselves, this is people without Christ before salvation, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, Amen. who are taken captive by him at his will. So, without Christ, the individual is captive, taken captive by Satan, according to what he wants to do. Not by what the person wants. They probably don't even understand that they're captive. Yeah. Yeah. But, we'll jump up to verse 24. And the servant of the Lord, it's us, believers, must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Yes. In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, they're confused, mm -hmm. and hurting themselves. They just don't realize it, most of them. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if God, peradventure, will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth of Jesus Christ. That they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. <clears throat> the world is in trouble. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sure is. 1 John, chapter 2. 
the best thing we can do for the world is be Christ-like. Amen. Amen. God help us to be Christ-like. First uh, John two seventeen. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. The wages of sin is death. It can't go on forever. It has to be stopped and dealt with. Yes. The world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So in the denying of sin walking in holiness, doing good works, being zealous for God and his purpose, doing his will, laying up treasures for yourself in heaven where your heart is, where your treasures are. There, That's where your, heart's gonna be. your heart will be also. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Working for God. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever, because God abides forever. Yes. And the believer is one with him and will abide forever. Amen. We've been given a salvation that fades not away, Praise reserved God. in heaven for you. Amen. 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 Well, let's be about God's business. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you.